welcome to shell scripting tutorial this is the fifth video session in this series of tutorial in this session we are going to learn about uh, cp command in the sense copy command rm command removing the files and uh, directories how we can do that mv command to move the files from one location to another location rmdir command and time command and uh, exit command okay so what these commands will do in this uh, and what they useful for us okay we are going to see about these commands okay so let's see here so to see uh, the examples here what we are going to do here is you can just create any few directories okay in the sense in this i am just creating um, source or uh, sr slash dst is the directories just i am creating here ok so i have to use p for uh, creating this so just i am uh, entering into the sr directory so here i am just creating a few files ok file uh, 1 to 10 dot txt ok and uh, I'm creating few more, few more. Okay, so in this, I have created few of the files and directories. So, so let's see here. So, what is the difference here? Okay, let's go back, and here also we have the some of the files like like this anaconda and these are the files we have in here so first of all we are going to see in a copy command in the sense cp command is used to copy the files okay so cp anaconda dot cfg this one so i'm just copying to the sr so the command syntax is to just cp specify the source and destination ok now let's see here so the file has been copied so before that we are going to just uh, see about the ls about the this command ok and see here so here the what is the difference between the source and the destination file ok the source file has been copied to from the the root directory to the uh, sr directory and the file the size is been same okay here is the file size is same but the date and the time has been changed okay so i don't want to this one okay just i'm just deleting the this file rmi fun f to use the deleting the files okay just clear the screen and now okay i want to copy a thus file from the so it's previous directory in the sense dot dot to so in before session we see that dot dot is the represent is parent directory okay dot dot now copy to the current directory so i want to preserve these information in the sense whatever the copy the source and destination would be as it is in the sense there is no change should be happen in the sense the date and time should be same okay ls hyphen l okay let's see here anaconda dot file in the source and uh, destination so now see here is there any difference between the both the files no there is no difference because we used an if and p option to preserve the timestamp and everything okay in the sense th it will uh, preserve the uh, the file everything properties of the files whatever it contains okay so instead of copying if you want to say link creating an a link okay so what i'm doing is here just i'm deleting this file in the destination and now i'm just making a name uh, soft link here okay to the sr directory sorry dot okay dot directory in sense dot in the sense current directory itself okay dot anaconda 
right here just I am making a soft link we have to use hyphen s now see here the file here has been pointing from anaconda to anaconda in the sense so this symbolic link what it will do is it will just uh, show the original files data whatever the original file data it has it will show the data in the sense the file is not exist in the destination directory but if the file has been linked to the previous file in the sense the the source file okay so now what i'm doing here is so just i am copying the file okay just like uh, file 3 dot txt to dst directory okay now i want to copy only the updated data to the file 3 in the destination okay in the sense the destination is not updated but the source file has been updated in the sense what i'm doing here is cat sorry echo testing now just i'm updating this third file so i don't want to copy the file entire file okay i want to just uh, synchronize between the updates only between the source and destination you can also use iphone u cp iphone u to update the destination file okay here like this so you want to overwrite yes that's it now it will do an uh, update so if you want to let's say here if you want to copy the directory okay from source to destination or some here to here okay so this directory has been created if you want to copy this one okay just you can use copy test uh, and destination so this command will not copy the directory because the directory needs an a separate parameter which should be remember always whenever you want to copy in a directory you have to use the R option okay so then only it will copy to the destination okay so copying the directories you cannot just use a CP you have to use always iPhone R option to copy the directory so if you want to overwrite a destination forcefully you can also use iPhone F CV iPhone F v for verbose in the sense the what is it's copying from source to destination it will just to show you okay see here so here it is a directory that's why we have to use this one so if it is in a file then we have to use does not required here any r okay so this one so if you are mentioning an a three so it will not ask you to any confirmation so it should not ask any confirmation just it will forcefully copy the to destination okay so now let's move to the the copy command is completed so now let's move to the rm command rm command is used to basically delete the files and directories okay so rm command if you use on a simple like this okay it will ask you for the confirmation because in alias what it uh, does he is in the alias it's already mentioned that rm iphone i is an uh, alias for the rm iphone rm command so that without entering any uh, any option here so it will ask you for the confirmation okay so with confirmation has been confirmed and the file has been deleted here so if you want to delete a name multiple files okay rm and i want to delete the multiple files 4 5 okay r 6 7 something like this you can also delete multiple files but always is asking for a confirmation if you have a thousand files so it is not good right so then you can just also use rm from f so which will not ask you any confirmation it will delete the files without uh, asking the confirmation in the sense forcefully we are just deleting the files okay so this is the command if you want to delete in a directory you can also use rm iphone d okay this will delete an empty directory removing directory s okay if you want to delete a all the things without asking any confirmation 
okay you can just to delete like this but be careful rma from rf is the very dangerous command to use in the any production environments if you delete it you cannot recover your data back okay that's why very careful to use rm fun rm command okay move is the command we can just use the okay to move the files from one location to another location okay move and i can just say uh, file 8 or file 9 okay this one and to specify the destination to move the files in the sense the file has been moved from the source to destination so it is not copied it's just uh, moved okay if you want to copy a, if you want to update the information or if you take just like a backup you can also use iphone b move iphone b to the destination like this okay it will just make the backup copy of it okay so rm dir is the command to delete only the uh, empty directories in the sense here i have the empty directory this one this one i have some few files okay let's try here if you want to delete some uh, data directory so it will not delete in a sense fail to remove destination is not an empty one so whenever you want to delete an uh, empty one make use of rmdm i am rmdr command is the best option to delete an empty directories okay so time is the command to see here what is the time taken for the copying or uh, doing anything what is the time taken it will calculate for us in the sense this command is taken 0.002 seconds to execute the command okay so this is the things so exit is the command in the sense of this exit command we can just uh, exit from the terminal okay exit we can exit from the terminal that's it about this uh, session so thanks for watching please subscribe to the channel send your feedback to this email address thanks